Hey there, what's up ladies, what's up? Coach Carissa here and I am just popping on because I am really getting a lot of DMs lately from current clients, from past clients, and from women like you, right, you and I. Um, and I'm just getting a lot of DMs I've noticed lately about, you know, women are like, how do you stay motivated, Carissa? Like, you wake up every day, you kill it, you, you know, you're constantly going, I know you're busy, right? They're, they're like, you got a podcast, you've got TV, like, how do you do it all and still stay motivated to, you know, work out and stay healthy? And I'm like, well, that's a great question, right? Motivation is a really, really fun topic that I love to talk and teach on. Uh, so first things first, um, motivation, right? It comes and goes, right? I don't always feel motivated. And that's where I'm like, thank God I've built healthy habits, right? <laughs> that allow me to thrive, right? Like, thank goodness, right? At the end of the day, there are mornings that I don't feel like getting up at 345, but thank goodness, right, that I've built such a strong mindset around, it doesn't matter what you want, Carissa, you're gonna get up and you're going to go to the gym because what you actually want is energy and motivation and drive and happy endorphins and feeling like a rock star. And I'm like, yes, you're right. Uh, and so I get up and go to the gym. So motivation comes and goes, right? Motivation is also a form of people who are like, I just don't have any willpower. I'm not determined, right? And I'm, and I'm just telling you that I help women boss up, show up, and thrive. And part of what I do is I help them create a mindset that allows them to become self-driven, self-motivated, and quite honestly, a freaking badass, okay? So that's what I love to do. As a coach, as a mentor, I work with clients. I help them build healthy habits in, uh, in the health and, and wellness arena, right? We build habits around motivation. We build habits around nutrition, clean eating, um, the 80-20 rule. We build habits around body movement and exercise and fitness. We build the habits of learning how to de-stress in our life because, oh my gosh, we are all way too stressed out these days. And when we are stressed, you guys, we're not losing weight. We're not gaining any traction. Some people, um, all they do is, you know, like lose weight. And that's kind of a bad thing, right? If you're already thin and you're stressed and you can't seem to keep weight on, um, so stress plays a huge role, right? Our digestion, our gut health, our mood, our sleep, like everything really does revolve around how stressed out we are and how relaxed we are, okay? So I love teaching my clients simple habits and, and hacks to help them de-stress in their body. Uh, I teach women all about gut health and self-care and just, I love, love, love what I'm doing, you guys. And if any of this is connecting with you, I do wanna encourage you, right? Book a 15 minute get that clarity call with me. If you've not had one, like now is the opportunity. Like get on my calendar. Let's see if what my program, my proven weight loss program, uh, along with my accountability, my support, and my coaching and mentoring sessions, let's see if it's a good fit for you. But, all right, cool. Uh, what I want to talk to you guys today about is motivation, right? Willpower, drive, determination, the, the boss up babe mindset. Okay, and I've kind of come up with just six, a list of six things that I do almost every day that allow me to stay entirely focused and driven and motivated. Okay, motivation is like energy and every freaking day I feel so motivated to live my best life, to do my best work, to take care of my kids. Like I am a motivated mama. Now, if you know me, you know, my past life, right, my old story, uh, 12 years ago when I was 213 pounds, I was depressed, I hated my life, I was not the motivated mama that you see here today. Okay, so what I'm telling you works and, and what I'm telling you is actually sustainable, which is the biggest part. Okay, so here we go. Drop in the chat, ladies, if you do have any questions, if anything comes up. Or, uh, you know, I want you to also drop in some of the things that keep you motivated because your comments, if you're dropping in what works for you, that may work for other women. Not all of my strategies and everyone like that I teach works for everyone. Um, all right, let's get to it. So six things that keep me super uber motivated towards living my best epic life. 
okay? And I'm talking health, mindset, business, everything, right? Motivation at the end of the day. You can use any of these tools to focus in on your business. You can use these tools to focus in on health and well-being. You can focus and use these tools for really your ultimately your, your best life, your epic life, right? What you desire most. Okay. At the end of the day, we're talking motivation. All right. Number one hack is I do believe in vision boards. Okay. I have multiple vision boards. I have a digital one on Pinterest that has all of my favorite features of homes, of the VIP luxury lifestyle. I've got, you know, red carpets, types of champagne that I'm going to drink, all kinds of cool things in my million dollar babe business 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 board, my million dollar babe Pinterest board. Okay. So that's a digital vision board. My, um, you know, over here up top, I have my other vision board. Okay. My vision board that is pretty much like, it's like a catch all. It's got health, um, healthy gut, less stress, millionaire status, grit, um, you know, fun, fun badges that I've, I've traveled all over the world and spoken on stages, like things to remember, things that motivate me. Okay. And the reason why I love vision boards is because it allows me when I'm having a rough day, it allows me to hit the reset really quick. Right. I look up and I'm like, you know what? I am fun is an important part of life. And if I am having a bad day, sometimes I'll just stop working and I'll go have some fun. Okay, I'll go to the pool, I'll go outside, uh, I'll just go have fun, okay? I'll call a good friend, we'll laugh, we'll talk, and then I'll feel better. Um, but yeah, so I love vision boards. If you don't have a vision board, I want to highly suggest that that's where you start, okay? Vision boards allow me to stay very, very motivated and very, very focused in on what I want instead of what I don't want. Uh, number two, I connect with my why and my vision and my mission every single day. So you guys know, right? You see the stories. I'm in the gym, slaying it out, crushing workouts seven days a week, sometimes twice a day because, hey, for me, it's an outlet for stress, okay? So, but seven days a week at least, I'm in the gym at from 4 to 6 a.m., okay? 4 to 6, that's my gym time. And I know it's that seems long, but again, this is something I love to do. It's not something that I tell my clients they have to do. In fact, I always start with my clients off with like a 20 or 30 minute max workout because most of them are too busy, right? Like at the end of the day, I am a fitness professional and junkie, so it's my job to stay healthy and fit. Just like your job, if you're, you know, if you're a spiritual coach, you know, you have a lot of spiritual type, you know, practices. So I'm not knocking anything and I'm not telling anyone that they need to spend two hours in the gym. Absolutely not. I like to have a lot of fun in the gym, so I have plenty of time to do it from 4 to 6 a.m. However, after my gym time, I connect with my spiritual practice. Okay, it's called my spiritual power hour. And from 8 to 9 a.m., I'm doing the following. I'm doing EFT tapping. I'm reading. I'm having thinking time. I'm praying, praying, right? I'm getting my, my divine downloads. I am, um, sometimes I'm journaling, okay? It depends on what I need. But it's always EFT tapping, a, a business meditation, a guided meditation, it's kind of like a hypnosis uh, session that I do on myself, uh, and then I go straight into reading, I, refer, I say my affirmations, right, like I connect with what it is that I want to be and become, okay, so if I want to be a millionaire, celebrity status coach, right, like that's what I'm connecting with, I'm connecting mentally with my vision. So just like we work our biceps in the gym, right? Every day we do stuff that, that grows muscle. Our brain is no different. Our mental fitness is no different. And mental fitness comes in with clarity and vision and repetition, okay? So the more you meditate, the easier it becomes. The more you tap, the easier it becomes. Okay, so the more I do it, the easier it becomes. I remember when I was first listening to all of my hypnosis tracks and it would take me forever, Okay, and my brain would be like bouncing from thing to thing, and I would just never be able to sit still for very long. But after keep on practicing, building those mental reps, doing it every single day, guess what? I now can slip into hit like a hypnosis state within a matter of 
like five minutes, right? Like I'm doing it on the airplane and people are probably like, what? She just zoned out for like a hot 20 minutes. Um, but, but yeah, so I connect with my why every day. And I'm not saying you have to go balls to the walls, our spiritual practice. No, 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 no. That's not where I started. That's not even where I would suggest you start. Okay, it's a lot of time, but it's important to me. So when I started this practice back in 2019, I started with five minute a day meditation. Five minutes, that's all I could bear to stand before I was like, okay, now I gotta go to work, gotta go to work, gotta go to work, right? Because I love what I do. <laughs> um, so you get the idea, but as I started seeing bigger and bigger results, by my, my dreams were manifesting at faster rates, the more and more I did all of this, I was like, uh, Hell yes, please sign me up every day. And it went from five minutes to a full hour practice, okay? So at the end of the day, I connect with what I want instead of what I don't want. Every single day, Monday through Friday, that is how I start my, my work day, okay? The third tip and hack that I'm gonna tell you to do. As I'm getting ready, right? Something that we all have to do, whether it's a 10 minute, Quick, throw your hair up in a sloppy ponytail bun, you know, slap on some quick makeup and, and boom, you're out the door. Or, you know, like for me, it takes about 20, 30 minutes to get ready in the morning. And that's my shower, that's blow drying my hair, it's the makeup, you get, you get the idea, right? I'm not gonna walk you through my whole, you know, like hygiene hour. However, what I am doing during that time is I am listening to my favorite podcast of the week or a YouTube video, okay? So, Along with that, okay, so I'm listening, I'm getting ready, like even if I'm not hearing every word and the kids are like, you know, screaming like, mom, we're ready for breakfast, right? Um, so if that's you, I got you, I got your back, I've been there, I've done that. However, I, I'm still, my unconscious mind is taking it in. I'm still listening. And if you're listening to motivational videos in the morning or podcasts that just, like they really like give you so much energy, guess what? huge okay now i'm starting my my day in between my my power hour my physical fit power hour at the gym and my spiritual power hour i'm getting like extra motivated okay right here in this zone okay um and then i always 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 have a white a whiteboard marker like a marker board in my bathroom it even goes with me when i travel as i'm listening to cool things I'm literally writing down on, on the mirror. I'm like, oh, that was good, that was good, right? And then I go and write on the mirror just so that I can remember it, all right? So that's a fun little hack that I do every day that really gets me motivated. Um, the fourth thing is that I surround myself with badass women, okay? So I surround myself with women I want to be like, women that inspire me. Okay, that's why a lot of my clients come to me. They're like, Carissa, like your arms, your body, your mindset, whatever it is, they're like, I want to be like you when I grow up. And this is women in their 50s and 60s. I'm like, girl, I want to be like you when I grow up, right? Retired, uh, retired millionaire, whatever that looks like. Uh, but yeah, I'm like, oh, A, I'm honored when they say that, right? Because I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. I am showing up every day and I am impacting the world on some level. But Personally, I surround myself with go-getting, fear-facing women, right? We've heard that saying where if you're the smartest person in the group, it's time to leave the group. That is very true. If you go to networking events, if you belong to certain networks and you're constantly the one that's like, I'm bored, this is nothing I've not heard before, like that kind of feel, if you know you're the smartest person in the room, time for you to upgrade your room, okay? So boss up the room you're in. Uh, and that goes with people in your in your space, right? People, um, you know, you can follow them on social media, you can stalk them and they don't even know it, right? I get women all the time that will message me and they're like, hey, I just wanted to say keep doing you because you're motivating me. Like, okay, cool, I don't even know who you are. Uh, thank you, I love you, come, you know, come join me. Um, you get the point. You are the sum of the five people you hang out with. So ladies, if you are trying to create healthier habits, lifestyle changes, if you're trying to lose weight or get into shape or finally have those toned, sexy six pack, you know, body year round, start hanging out with women like that. Okay. Um, start hanging out with women that, that health is important to them. Okay. Start hanging out with people who you want to be like. You want to be a billionaire? Hang out with billionaires. Go sit in billionaire status rooms, okay? Uh, okay, so tip number five, 
Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. What? Oh, my calendar. Can't read my little sticky note here. All right, my calendar. <sighs> okay, my calendar definitely sets me up for success. Okay. Um, my calendar is very structured. It's color coded. It's organized AF. Okay. Um, when people look at my calendar at first, they are overwhelmed. They're like, holy hell, you have something on your calendar that starts at 4 a.m. My workout. And you have something on your calendar that says seven at 7 p.m. That says power down my bedtime routine. Okay. So from 4 a.m. to 7 p.m., there is literally blocked off time for everything. So why I bring this up is not to make you feel like crap or to make you feel like, oh, I need to get organized. No, it's what works for me, remember? However, it keeps me motivated because if I can look at my calendar and I'm like, yes, I got up and I went to the gym today. I, I, breath, I did breath work in the middle of the day. Like I schedule those things in. Cause if not, y'all, I'm a hustler, right? I'm gonna be out doing my thing. I will forget all about how much water I've drank. So the calendar is kind of like the backup system. It's kind of like the, oper like the backup system to your operating system. So when you forget, right? When life happens and you're like, Oh, my, it's summertime and the kids are out of school now. Your calendar still reflects what's important to you, right? It, it kind of helps secure that those healthy habits are going to get done. And the sixth and final thing that I do um, and that I really sprinkle throughout my life, because I don't even have to do it. Once I've sprinkled, like once I've created it, it's now my job to sprinkle it throughout. And then now I just have to like be mindful when I see it. So I'm gonna give you an example. I call these anchors, right? Physical anchors in our environment that keep me motivated. Okay, so uh, let me pull up all kinds of cool things because I've got so many literally sitting there. All right, an anchor, simply meaning an object, right? Something that you can attach a story to, okay? So, hello, gorgeous. Oh. Hello, yes, I feel super motivated. I am gorgeous today, right? It affirms how I wanna be feeling. Good vibes only. Ooh, yeah, I'm kind of in a bad mood. If I see this, I'm like, oh, Carissa, you're only gonna accept good vibes into your life. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, maybe my giant clip, it says, you got, I got this, right? This holds my affirmation, okay? So, um, I am a coach who is currently working on big money goals, scaling my business, right? I, I, I work with clients on a global level. Um, so right now my affirmation is I'm a badass businesswoman who looks like a million, who feels like a million, who impacts a million. Uh, and that I got that affirmation from my own coaches and mentors. I freaking love that saying, it really sits with me. Cause I already feel like I look like a million. I feel like I feel like a million. I am definitely working on making a million and impacting a million. I do impact work through stage work, my authoring, you know, my books, things like that. But you get the idea, right? Another one, um, so this is spread out throughout the whole house. It says, I am ready to earn, uh, you know, blank amount of dollars every month and I am worthy of the epic life, okay? That's what these say. And these get spread out everywhere. Okay, I've got one in my bathroom. I've got one on the fridge. I've got one on my, my, my lampshade here. I fill my space with things that motivate me. Okay, uh, even down to like what I reuse things. Like I got this cute little mug. It had like some little gift from a client. I can't really remember what was in it, but the mug was so cute because I'm like, oh, it, like flamingos are pink and you know, like pink's my brain color. And, and so it's just super cute, right? Another anchor that I do, like this is my fitness journal, right? Every day I go to the gym, I write out my workouts, um, you know, um, it, it's, it's awesome. I love it. I, I teach my clients how to do this. However, every journal I got, and I've been doing this for 12 years, y'all, so I've got close to 30 books in a box. So when I'm done filling one out, I toss it and I do it all over again. So this is like a mini vision board in my workout journal, okay? So when I'm at the gym and I'm like, oh, I flip to this page and I look like these are words. I'm such a wordy, right? I've got, I've got words all over my body. 
Design by destination, right? This full body routine is magic for you. More abs, please. Happy, squat, progress, own your look. I've got a woman here that I'm like, damn, she's a badass, right? I'm a change maker. You see the idea, balance, okay? Um, this is all, it's important to me. Another thing that is another little anchor is that I get a notification that I have set on my phone that it goes off at 5.30 in the morning. So I'm in, no, it's probably like 5.15 in the morning because it's about right when I get done with my cardio. But before I start my strength training, it goes off and it dings, right? That's what notifications do. And in my ear, I hear ding. So I quickly look and it says, you are a badass in this gym, okay? Here's all my awesome notifications, okay? It's things like, you're inspiring others to live healthy. You are a badass in the gym. Are you eating the foods that support you? Water time, have you hit your 100 ounce goal? Are the decisions you're making today impacting the lives of others, okay? Like these are notifications that I wanna be reminded about. I could care less what CNN has to say. I could care less what Instagram has to say. I wanna feed my mind with amazingness awesomeness, pure badassery, right? Because it keeps me motivated. All right, I think I've covered motivation. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you watched this video live or if you're catching this on a replay. But most importantly, after you hear all of this, and it's a lot, I do not want you to be overwhelmed. These are habits I've built years. It's taken me years to build these habits, okay? I want you to drop down below in the comment section and tell me one thing that you're gonna try and do that's going to keep you motivated, okay? Because when we have motivation, we do show up consistently, all right? All right, ladies, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are here, you know, definitely like, comment below, leave me your tidbits and your advice, your ahas, like talk to me people in that chat. If you're catching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you love, you know, my attitude, if you love my, you know, my, my go-getting badassery skills, please, please, please follow me, share me, like this, you know, like this video. Invite someone to watch this video. Maybe you know someone who is really feeling like they need to hit a hard reset and they've just lost their way. They've lost their motivation. They've lost their mojo. Any of these tips today are going to help them um, get their shit back. All right. All right, ladies, stay showing up, thriving and living your best life.